is a major component of our blood and it helps keep our nerves and muscles working properly. We need salt to survive, but too much salt can cause serious health problems. What's worrying is that we don't often see or feel the problem until it's too late. But here, at the anatomy department of this university, medical researchers can see for themselves exactly what happens inside our bodies when we indulge in too much salt. Anatomists study the functions of the organs and structures of our bodies, from how our bones work to the pumping of our hearts. So, I'm waiting to meet Dr. Chawana, but before he gets here, I need to look the part too. White coat and everything. So, Dr. Chawana, tell me, what are the effects of eating too much salt? Whatever salt goes, water follows. So what usually happens is you eat too much salt, you increase your blood pressure, mostly because there is retention of that salt mm -hmm. from the kidneys. And when you increase uh, that blood pressure, the whole heart has to work harder to okay. pump blood across the whole cardiovascular system. Mm -hmm. Because you have too much salt, you end up not excreting all of the salt and you t tend to retain the salt. So when okay. the salt is inside your body, the water would follow it. Okay, doctor, um, I won't lie, I'm a little freaked out right now, <laughs> but I know this is important. I know this is important. So please, can you show me what the heart looks like before and after damage from salt intake? Okay. Oh, wow. That's quite a huge you difference. See the difference. This one now is sure. bigger because it was pumping against high pressures in these arteries and it had to develop bigger muscle fibers so that it can cope with the high pressure system in these different arteries. Wow. But these arteries supplying the heart with nutrients and oxygen haven't become bigger, mm -hmm. so the heart it's becomes strain. strained. Under a microscope, it's easy to see the tiny tears at normal deposits and actual physical damage to the heart that can be caused by high blood pressure. It's a scary sight. Seeing all of that and working with it on a daily basis, what has it done to you personally? Do you find yourself maybe changing your own eating habits because of the things you see here? Well, I'm somebody who's on a borderline of hypertension. Really? And, you know, hypertension can result from so many other things. And most of these conditions, they have got a hereditary um, aspect of it. Yes. So actually, when you put in salt, you are throwing yourself over the cliff. So I'm one person who's at that age and I tend to look how much I'm taking in. Let's say um, I go to the doctor and I then find out that, okay, I've got high blood pressure. If I start to make changes in my life from that moment onwards, is it possible to reverse whatever damage could have been done by too much salt intake? Um, it's possible to retard the progression of the condition. So if well, there's some of the changes, if it has been there for a long time, some of the changes you can't reverse them. Okay. Yes. We're usually not aware of damage to our hearts until it's too late to fix. So be proactive and make healthy choices your first choice. Check your food labels. Be wary of signs like being thirsty all the time, very dark urine or persistent headaches. We do need some salt to live, but it might be a good idea to think twice before you shake that salt cellar all over your plate. I know I certainly will.